up, y'all? I wanted to take you all on a little adventure and guide you through what I do to get ready for a show. I take my time before a show because I never like to feel rushed. The drive to the theater is nice and long, so I usually sing some music to start the process of warming up. I especially like singing more lyrical soprano stuff in the car because even though I never sing soprano in the show, it opens up my voice to feel more free in performance. I get to the theater and sign in on our call sheet so that the stage manager knows I'm here. And if I have time, I'll steam my voice for a bit. Theaters are very dry places, so it's good to make sure that your throat is moisturized. At around 6.30, 6.45, warm up begins. I'll go up to my piano on stage and I'll run through all of my rep. Sometimes Greg, who plays Guy, and Carlos, who plays Schwetz, will join me and we'll run a few spots just to check tempos and lock in with each other. At around 7, I'll go down to the dressing room and do a very quick physical warm-up. This just ensures that I'm aware of my body and that my chest is open. This both helps my character, because she leads with her heart, and it also helps my breathing. And then I start makeup. My makeup for the show is just street makeup, but with more contour than I would normally wear, because the stage is huge, and the lights are bright, and I am pale as a ghost, and so I have to make sure that I have facial features. I'll also darken my brows and my eyes a little bit more, because they are my facial expressions. A lot of people ask me when they see pictures of me in the show, they ask, what are those things on your face? Well, let me get into my hair and mics for you. I wear two mics for this show, a backup and a primary, and I have two mic packs on my waist in a belt. The one that I'm putting into my hair right now is actually my backup mic in case my primary mic goes out. And then my primary mic goes on the side of my face, and I pay a visit to the lovely Caitlin, who makes sure that my mic is taped down, secure, and in the right position. By now, the pre-show is usually starting, and I say goodbye to my dressing room mate, Davin, as she prepares to go nail it. And I make sure that I have said hi to everybody in the cast and on the team. And at that point, I get into full costume, making sure that all of the little details are there, like my jewelry, my watch, and, very importantly, that my props are in my pocket. I also always brush my teeth before show. Very important. I'll use the pre-show music to warm up a little more, as well as sing a few tough passages from the show to make sure my placement is there. At our five minute call, Greg and I have a little fist bump, which, um, evolves from night to night. <laughs> and I try to greet whichever little one is playing my child that evening. With child actors, it's important to connect with them before you go on stage because that way they just feel more comfortable and it's more fun. In my last five to 10 minutes before I go on, I shut myself in my dressing room and I focus. Getting into character is something I get asked about a lot. And from day to day, it varies wildly. It's totally different depending on where my emotional levels are at. But generally, I go through some of the text in the show, I do a lot of pacing, and a lot of visualizing so that I'm nice and focused. Or alternatively, if I'm feeling a little down that day, dance party! And we are off. I hope you enjoyed this little look into my process for the show Once at Only Theatre Center. I'll leave a link for tickets down below, and I'll see you out there.